Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first installment of An Instrument for Peace. And my name is Reverend Russ Legear. I am the Assistant Minister at the Center for Spiritual Living in Santa Rosa. And given everything that's been going on in the world right now, I was inspired to offer my own expression of peace. There's a lot of conflict in the world right now. We see Russia invading Ukraine, and it, it saddens me to see this, but that's not the only conflict in the world now, too. It's certainly the biggest one that we're aware of, but there's so much violence going on in the world, and it asks me, what is it that I stand for? And I have to go back to the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. I choose to be an instrument for peace in the world. And for me, that comes out as music, that comes out as playing guitar, this, this thing right here. So I thought it would be fun to start a series that is dedicated to peace, where I can show you how I find my way to peace, and hopefully that brings you a feeling of peace as well. And so I'm dedicating this series to Ukraine right now and to what they're going through and also praying for Russia that they will find their way out of this desire to be in conflict. And so let us start with the first of what shall be many guitar meditations. But before we do that, I'd like to recite the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. If you've never heard it, it's quite beautiful. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Please enjoy the guitar meditation.
if you're wondering how you can help with the conflict that is going on in Ukraine right now, specifically by offering humanitarian aid, please check in the details below. There is a link to a website that aggregates your donated funds to ensure that they get to um, a number of aid agencies from Doctors Without Borders to Save the Children to UNICEF to the American Red Cross. All of these get aggregated so that the organizations that most need the money at that time to do the most good can get it. So I will share that link with you below. Please check it out if you are called to help with your financial support to ensure that all of the Ukrainians who are trying to get out of harm's way and are simply trying to eat, simply trying to have health care, that they can get that kind of help. I'm so glad that you were with me today. We will see you soon.